dear students after a long break i got your class again i hope you all are well we are taking online classes to prevent coronavirus i hope your participation as well welcome to my zoology class this is akmal hussain lecturer biology square high school and college now i am going to take a zoology class of standard 7 chapter 4 today's topic is respiration what will we learn from this class we will be able to know about respiration respiratory process proof of energy production in respiration parts of respiratory system respiration respiration one of the main important characteristics of living beings because a living organism get energy from respiration definition of respiration respiration is a kind of burning process where foods are oxidized to release energy another definition a process in living organisms involving the production of energy normally with the intake of oxygen and the release of carbon dioxide i think second one is better to memorize as a definition of respiration respiratory process energy is necessary for performing different physiological activities what is physiological activities the activities which done into our body is called physiological activities like respiration blood circulation digestion etc oxygen is used to burn the cellular food in the body of the organism cellular food what is cellular food the food which is stored into our cell or into any living cell is called cellular food respiration is a metabolic process in this process every organism takes oxygen from atmosphere and release carbon dioxide here we have to know what is metabolic process metabolic process is commonly used to the breakdown of food and its transformation into energy two function or two activities number one breakdown of food number two transformation into energy i am saying again metabolic process is uh, commonly used to the breakdown of food and its transformation into energy it is a continuous process of course it is continuous process because uh, our body or living cell get the energy from respiration if the energy supply is stopped then we will die that's why it is continuous process even when we sleep respiratory process active into our body respiration in living world respiration is a intracellular metabolic process that means respiration occurred in cell plants do not have any definite respiratory organ but they have stomata lenticels and intercellular space stomata lenticel and intercellular space the three tiny organs which helps in respiration of plants stomata present in leaf lenticel present in stem of body and intercellular space that means space between cells animals respire through 
different organs like skin, trachea, gills, lungs. Skin used as respiratory organ in lower animals like earthworm. Trachea used as respiratory organ in insects. Gills used as respiratory organ in aquatic animals like fish. Lungs used as respiratory organs in developed animal like human, tiger, etc. Proof of energy production in respiration. Material required 2 thermoflux, 2 thermometers, some germinating gum seeds, water boiled gum seeds and 2 rubber cork in a hole. In your book mentioned here 1 rubber cork it will be 2 rubber cork with hole. Experiment put germinating gum seeds in one flux and close it with rubber cork. Push the thermometer through the hole of the rubber cork in such a way that the mercury portion remain within the germinating, germinating seeds. Similarly, fill up the other flux with water boiled gum seeds. Then place the other thermometer in the flux in similar process. Mercury level in every thermometer is marked and noted. Observation After a few hours, the mercury level is changed in thermometer placed in germinating gum seeds due to the release of heat, but in other flux, mercury level is mercury level in thermometers remain unchanged no heat was released so we may say boiled gums does not breathe so heat is not germinated here on the other hand germinated gum seeds breath and heat is produced here that means we may conclude that heat one type of energy which in which is produced here in germinating gum seeds so energy is produced in respiration respiration in animals parts of human respiratory system number one nostrils and nasal cavity number two nasopharynx number three larynx number four trachea number five bronchus number six lungs number seven diaphragm this seven parts of human respiratory system you have to memorize. Homework Define respiration that means you have to give the definition of respiration. Name the parts of human respiratory system. It will better if you submit your homework within two days. Stay at home, stay safe. Thank you.